Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. On both Windows 10 and 11, we have a small remote assistance application called Quick Assist. Now, in case you were unaware, the Quick Assist app is mainly used by system administrators to provide remote assistance. And just to demonstrate to get to the app, you can just do a search on both Windows 10 and 11 for Quick Assist, which will open the app. And it's just a small window. And if you are unaware, a brief description of the app is that um, Microsoft Quick Assist enables two people to share a computer over a remote connection so that one person can help solve problems on the other person's computer. Now, if you are using the app, uh, Microsoft has recently announced that as of the 23rd of May this year, 2022, the default app on both Windows 10 and 11 is going to stop working and functioning and they are and that they are replacing the default app with the Microsoft Store version of the app. Um, so you will have to head over to the Microsoft Store uh, where you can get and download the app um, for both Windows 10 and 11. Now the 23rd of May, if we just head to the calendar, is next week Monday. So that means you've got just under a week to make that upgrade if you do use the app on a regular basis. And after the 23rd of May, according to Microsoft, uh, you won't be able to use the app anymore. Now, um, after the 23rd, um, when you do open the app, uh, you will see a prompt that a new version is available. And um, you will see a tab also appear uh, in the um, bottom left-hand corner of the app. Uh, which says open Microsoft Store and obviously if you decide to upgrade you can just click on that which will take you over to the Microsoft Store where you can get and download the uh, Quick Assist Microsoft Store version of the app which as, a, as, as mentioned according to Microsoft is replacing the default app in both Windows 10 and 11 and if you don't want to proceed uh, with the update there will be another tab that will be in the bottom right hand corner which will say not yet and then you can just click on that uh, tab if you don't want to proceed with the update. Now, just on a side note, this will also mean, though, that if you do download the store version of the app, that you will have the old version and the new version uh, installed side by side, which could lead to some confusion as the old version isn't going to work anymore. So you will have to uninstall the old version of the Quick Assist app. And how to do this on uh, both Windows 10 and 11 is you just head to your settings uh, menu head over to your apps page and yeah you'll get your apps and features but the um, quick assist app is listed under optional features so you, if you click on that you will see the app listed microsoft quick assist and you can just uninstall the app um, from those optional features uh, in both windows 10 and 11 and uh, the reason that microsoft says they are replacing uh, the default app with the store version is it's just easier for them to send security updates faster to users of the app and I will leave a link down below to um, that announcement uh, which was made near the end of April remote assistance with quick assist is changing I will leave a link to this post down below in case you're interested as you will just get a little bit more information if you are interested so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one